Hi, my name is Vaman Deshmukh and in this session we are going to learn object type which is uh, uh, one type of user defined data types in Oracle. When it comes to user defined data types, you have scalar data types which are predefined data types and for particular business requirement your uh, predefined data types may not be able to cater to that particular requirement at that time you will need user defined data types and user defined data types uh, there are uh, several types of that. Now to see the definition of user, de user defined data types, when a predefined data type is not able to meet a business requirement, uh, we can create our own data type and that data type can be called as user defined data type and in the oracle, oracle 8 onwards. Uh, user defined data types uh, can be created previously it was not available oracle 8 onwards it became available we have uh, types of user defined data types we basically have two types composite type uh, which is also called as object type and collection uh, collections have associative array v array nested table so composite type or object type and collection these are basically the two major types of user defined data types and in this session we shall see composite type or object type. Composite type allows group of elements of different types in the sense it is used more for composite attributes. Uh, let me explain this with a simple example. Here. I have a simple table employees and in the table I have the columns like EID name and address right and here I will be filling records into that let us say 101 right name may be A and now I have address which has three lines like let us say address line 1, address line 1, address line 2 and address line 3 these are the three lines of address now if i make this l that is address line 1 address line 2 address line 3 uh, just another column like if i make them uh, normal columns just like eid and name at that time i'll have five columns in this table that is eid name al1 al2 al3 right now here the requirement is that this AL1, AL2, AL3 are closely related to each other that is a part of a composite attribute right which is address. These three columns have a special relationship compared to the rest of the columns in the table. Therefore, I should have a mechanism wherein I will be able to make address as a column of this table so that this table will have only three columns EAD name and address and within that AL1, AL2, AL3 these should be the sub columns. So to make this thing happen we can create user defined data type. Now when I enter the value into this, this will be address line 1, address line 2, address line 3. There will be these three sub columns but from the table employees this table perspective this table will have only three columns EAD name and address whereas AL1, AL2, AL3 these will be the sub columns. So let us see how do we achieve this. To create a composite type or object type the syntax is pretty simple create or replace type object type name as object. This will be followed by fields definition. This will be followed by fields definition field 1 data type size field 2 data type size like this. So this is how you will you know create one object type. So let us see an example how do we create an object type. We shall create this table e employees, we shall create this table employees in which we, have, we will have the columns eid name and address and address will be a composite type or it will be an object type and in which we will create these three fields. 
So, let us see how it works. So, as you can see on the screen, I am creating an uh, creating a type named address okay. and look at the text, uh, look at the syntax and the query, create type address as object. Uh, the first field name is HNO that is house number varchar 2 of 12, street varchar 2 of 20 and city as well varchar 2 of 20. So, here my type has been created, <coughs> this is an object type. So, this can be used just as a scalar or uh, you know, uh, this can be used as a scalar or built in data type. So, let us create a table, uh, table name employees or employee and in that table, let us use this address as an object type. So, let me create a table here, table name will be employees, let me check once if that table really exists first, okay, EMPS table is not there. So, I will create this table. So, you can see here, I am creating the table EMPS, create table EMPS EID number of 3 name varicatch of 10 and look at the third column location, where I have used the user defined data type that is address. The table has been created, you can you know, you can check the table structure as well and you could see for EIG there is a predefined data type number of 3, then for name as well varchar 2 of 10, these are all predefined data types and for location you could see the new type that is address is there. So, as of now, as of now this table uh, does not have any records, right. So, let us insert some records into this. Look at this query friends, to insert the records into the table, insert into EMPS values, you could understand 101A, the third column, its name is location. So, see here when you insert the records into a table and if the table has a column which has uh, user defined data type, then you must refer to the data type name to insert records into that particular table. Here I am inserting the records into EMPS table and there I have a column called location and for that I am using the type name that is address. This is followed by one pair of braces and in that all the relevant values, right. I will try to insert the record and one record has been created. I will add couple of more records. So, I have inserted two records. So, I have inserted two records. Now, to select the records from this table, if you write down select star form EMPS which is the table name, you might not be able to see the records properly. For that you have to write the query in a little different way. Here you know to select the records you know to refer to the table alias as well as you know the particular column name and then the field name. So, table alias, column name, field name, this way you can you know refer to the records and you can see the data properly. So, look at this query, select c dot aid, c dot name, c dot location dot hno that is house number the first field, c dot location dot street, c dot location dot ct from emps c. So, c is just one alias I am giving here and check here, here is the data which is properly formatted. If you simply write down, if you simply write down select star from, if you simply write the query, if you simply write the query select star from EMPS, in that case you might not get the data properly, but with properly formatted query you can get the data properly. So, this is how you can get the data from a table which has an object type and let us see how do we update the records here. Check here, update EMPS, update EMPS, C is the alias, set C dot location dot HNO, that means this particular value, that means this particular value, uh, it should be updated to another value. 
where c dot ead equals 101 so where is this 101 a primary key value there the location dot hno this has to be updated and this query will do that so one row has been updated and now when you select the records you could see this was the previous data and this is the present data in the same way you can also perform delete query so friends using object type you can create your own user defined data type and this data type can also be used in tables and you can have columns which will be using user defined data type so that's it for now friends thanks for watching video to watch more such videos please visit nourishtechnologies on youtube.com thank you